special will be along any minute now, Lucky. Go down there. You know what to do. Look, Rivers. How about letting the males alone this time? What's the matter? You getting yellow? No, it ain't that. I don't mind stealing payrolls or gold shipments, but I don't like stealing the mail, because that's federal. We may get away with it for a while, but they'll get us sooner or later. This is a nice time to start worrying about it. The mail's our real business. I know. That's why I'm talking about it. We better stop. Listen, Webster. When the boss wants your advice, he'll ask you for it. Now get down there and do what you're told to do. I wonder if I did right by cutting him in. He could be cut out awful quick. Not right now. I need him. Here she comes. Sheriff Big Bill Collins. What'll we do? We'll split up here and meet at my place later. Now hold your head, Lucky. If they nab you, you know nothing. I get you. Well, they sure disappeared fast, and I didn't recognize a one of them. Hey, look. Maybe that's one of them. You rode in here mighty fast, Lucky. What's wrong? Nothing, Susan. Don't start asking a lot of questions. at the Rebster Ranch, and whoever we're chasing is there. Hello, Lucky. Hello, Sheriff. Can I bother you to do a little talking? Why, certainly. What's on your mind? You mind telling me where you've been for the last two hours? Oh, right here at the ranch. Why? You haven't been doing any hard riding. Oh, I haven't been on a horse today. That horse has been doing a lot of hard running. Yeah, he's probably been running in the pasture. I suppose that saddle's been running in the pasture, too. Come on, Lucky, quit the stall. Who rode that horse? I rode it, Sheriff. Who might you be? Well, I could be sitting bull, but I'm not. No? No. He is. Thank you very much for your compliment, amigo. Now, let's quit this fooling. Who are you? My name's Tom Allen. What's your business? Oh, bronc rider. You connected with some outfit around here? Sure, I uh, work for Lucky here. Is that right, Lucky? Yeah, and he's a top hand, too. Well, I'm sorry I bothered you, man. Oh, that's all right. Goodbye, Lucky. How 
come he didn't arrest you? Huh? Oh. I guess it's because I got an honest looking face. Say, why'd you lie for me? I never laid eyes on you before. Well, I saw you were in the tough jam and uh, thought I'd give you a lift. After all, I've been in some spots myself. Thanks. What'd you say your name was? Tom Allen. I want you to meet my sister. What'd you say her name is? I didn't, yet. Julie, this is Tom Allen. Tom, this is my sister, Julie Webster. How do you do? Oh, uh, I want you to meet my pal, Lopez Mendoza. How do you do, senorita? You know, I like to meet new faces. I always like to meet new faces. Now, uh, last month in Montana, there was a lovely young lady. This lady... Lopez, Lopez. Please, please. I wasn't going to tell everything. Only the nice meal she served to us, you see? Oh, yeah. Oh, sis, I forgot to tell you. Tom and his friend here are working for me. Oh, well, in that case, Lucky, I'll have all you set two extra places. Stuff will be ready in a jiffy. Mm. Say, by the way, I saw the law hot on your heels when you rode in here. What's your game? That's something I don't care to talk about. Oh, well, all right. I just thought it was an opportunity for us to pick up some easy money. Of course, now that I've told the sheriff I'm working for you, you'll have to give me some sort of a job as an excuse for my sticking around here. Well, I suppose there's nothing else I can do about it. Well, uh, let's eat now, huh? this morning. What do you find? Ah, nothing yet to speak of. By the way, uh, where's the governor? Oh, the governor? <laughs> I have him with me. Look! <laughs> <laughs> you know, amigo, it is a very funny thing. You see, where I go, Sir Galahad goes. And where Sir Galahad goes, Sweetie Pie goes. <laughs> and where Sweetie Pie goes, the governor goes. <laughs> you know, you and your pets are going to be the death of me yet. Now, look, Lopez, we're in dangerous territory. Make no mistake about that. So, uh, keep your eyes open. I'll meet you back at the ranch in an hour. You better uh, follow the creek, and uh, I'll bear off to the right. Okay, duckies, amigo. And don't you worry about my pals. <laughs> you see? Sir Galahad take care of Sweetie Pie, Sweetie Pie take care of the governor, and the governor... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but uh, let's get going. Oh, yeah, oh, sure, I, I forgot that. What's that bird doing using that trail? I don't know. Maybe he can't read. Well, now, maybe he can't. Let's just go down and give him an idea what to keep out means. Hey, fella. Can you read? Sure. You don't mean to tell me you're selling newspapers. We mean that sign at the foot of the trail. It says keep out. And it means keep out. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'd better keep out. Come on, Prince.
You know, I didn't like that bird. He took it too easy. Look, there he is again. We'll really stop him this time. Nuts to jump that gap. We'll circle around and pick them up. Are you looking for something, stranger? What? Oh. 
Not particularly. And you mind telling me what brings you in here? Nothing brings me in here. Uh, <laughs> a couple of birds chased me in. Boss, I warned this fella, but he wouldn't listen. Hold it, Rod. I'll do the talking. You see, my friend, we've had considerable trouble around here lately, and we're kind of careful who rides our range. So would you mind telling me who you are? Certainly not. Tom Allen's the name. I work for Lucky Webster. Oh, is that so? Sure. Well, in that case, I'm going to ask you to wait a little while. Lucky will be along any minute now, and I'm quite sure he can identify you. All right, I'll unfinch my horse and give him a rest. Go ahead. That's a fair animal you've got there. A fair animal? Mister, you better get yourself a pair of glasses. Nice looking pair of guns, too, you're packing. Are they any good? I think so. Would you like to try one? Don't mind if I do. Got any cards with you, Cheyenne? Yeah, got a whole deck. Stick one up out there. Nice gun. Thanks. How's the other one? I think a little better. Where'd you learn to shoot that way? Oh, I just picked it up. I, uh, <laughs> I've had to take care of myself a few times. That's a swell pair of guns. Thanks. Hello, what are you doing here? You better ask him. Lucky, does this man work for you? Sure, Rivers. He's all right. I'd like to have a word with you alone. Sorry I delayed you, fellow. You can go now. Oh, that's all right, but if you don't mind, I'll wait for Lucky. Step over here a minute. Thought you told me you didn't have anybody working for you. Well, Alan's been away. He just got back. He needs money. Maybe we could use him. You think he could be trusted? With your life. All right. Tell him I'll cut him in on the next deal. Thanks, Rivers. Oh, I got another one. One night I was asleep and I was awoken by Lois. And I'll tell you about it in the song. I don't know what it was. It could have been a cow. Bam. Might have been a crow. It could have been a sheep. Probably a pig or a bird or a cat. And by the way of that, it was a couple of cats. He's been away all day. He should be along shortly. Uh, Lopez, I have to run over to Flagstaff on an errand. You want to saddle up and come along? Flagstaff? Oh, yes, Flagstaff. 
I hear about that town. I always like to go to Flagstaff because they tell me over there. Yes, I know, I know, I know. You want to go to Flagstaff. Well, hurry up and get ready. Yeah, I mean... Come on, brother. <laughs> Don't worry. You wait till we get into Flagstaff. I didn't get a chance to talk to you last night. I, I wanted to thank you for what you did for my brother. What I did? I know you didn't ride that horse. But what I don't know is why the sheriff was after him. Lucky's been acting very strange lately. I'm worried. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about him. After all, he knows what he's doing. But Mr. Allen, I've got to worry about him. Lucky's all I have. Since Dad and Mother died, we've worked together like, like partners on this ranch. Only in the past month, Lucky hasn't been attending the business. Yet he seems to have plenty of money. That's what has me worried. Ready to ride, amigo. We'll talk about this some other time. For some reason, I trust you. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Please find out what trouble Lucky's in and help him. I'll do all I can. Thanks, Tom. Don't worry, Julie. Have you been standing there? Long enough to hear you complaining about me. Lucky. I heard you asking him to look after me. What's the matter with you anyway? I don't need a nursemaid. Anyway, how do you know you can trust that bird? Well, he lied to the sheriff to help you out. I still don't trust him. Lucky, what's come over you? Just this. I'm tired of you always asking questions and butting into my business. Just riding out to see you. There's a few questions I forgot to ask you. Do you mind? No, of course not. But uh, if it's all the same to you, may we have some privacy? Sure. Wait here, boys. Come on, friend. You uh, didn't say anything to your posse. Oh no, I've just been following your orders. Good. I think it's better that way. Say, Tom, would you tell me one thing? Why wouldn't you let me arrest Lucky Webster when I had the goods on him? Well, arresting Lucky would only stop you. Well, what do you mean, he's one of the gang? That's just it. He's only one of the gang. You see, Bill, our office works a little differently. Arresting Lucky would only be the tip-off for the gang to break up. Well, we want to break him up, don't we? Sure, we want to break him up, but when we do, we want to break him right into jail. We don't want to let them get away from us. If we do, they'll only uh, reorganize and start operating again in another part of the country. No, Bill, we'll take our time, and uh, when we do crack down on them, we'll grab them all. Well, I guess you know what you're doing, but anyway, my orders are to work with you. So you're the doctor. Good. And 150 men had me trapped, but then the governor came to the rescue, and you wouldn't believe it? The governor made a monkey out of all of them. <laughs> Is that right, governor? Huh? Isn't that right? Well, of course, he doesn't know his own master, I... Hey! <laughs> Now, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Rivers. But I still have the business of running a bank. It's all right, Gordon. There's the money for the last job we pulled. Fine. There's your share. Thanks. 
As usual, I'm not asking you boys to wait until I get my payoff. Oh, say, when do we pull the next one? Well, I'll figure it out and get in touch with you. Okay. What's your angle honing in on this outfit? Well, to make some easy money, why? Well, I don't like your methods, and I don't like you either. What are you beefing about? You cut me in. Huh. I did that to protect you. They'd have killed you in a minute. You lent me a hand once, and I figured that'd square us, and you'd be riding on. No, no. No, this looks too good to me to be riding on. Yes, you will. You horned in on me, and then you horned in on my friends here, and now you're trying to work some kind of a game on my sister. Oh, don't be silly. What? <laughs> Say something. What's this all about? Maybe you'd better ask him. Lucky? Nothing, Rivers, that I can't take care of myself. Oh, I see. Now, I'm going to have no fighting in this outfit. If it happens again, I'll take care of it personally. Come on, let's have a drink of bourbon. Why did I let him walk out alone? You see, Sir Galahad, that's what I get. You take pretty good care of those guns. They take pretty good care of me. see anything in that window? There's nothing there. Hey, you! What kind of a weasel that you got there? This is not a weasel. This is a monkey. My pal. He's an old friend of mine and can be trusted. Get it? Hello, Lopez. Amigo! Hey, what is this? Oh, he's an old friend of mine. Senor! Hey! Oh, glad to see you! Glad to see you! Oh, say, I want you, uh, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Mr. Rivers. Mr. Rivers, this is my pal, Lopez Mendoza. How did you, senor? And this is the governor. <laughs> What's your game? Oh, uh, same as ours. 
And say, you should see him cook. Well, if you think he'd be useful, I might let him stay. Useful? Huh. He'll be very useful. All right, he can stay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Bill. We finally got here. Are you sure you wasn't following? Oh, positively. That is my job. I bring up the rear and watch. <laughs> Bill, I have a code message here from headquarters. I have to ask you a few questions. Far away? What do you know about Jeffrey Gordon? Uh, plenty. Why? Well, he's the one we have to level on now. I don't know how he could be mixed up in it. He's a town banker. Sure, he's a town banker, but nevertheless, he's the one who's profited most in the last five train holdups. Well, melt my badge. Why, I ain't fit for this job. I can't hardly believe it. So what are we waiting on to make an arrest? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got to have some evidence for where we're going to get it. You and your posse are going to keep Lopez and myself covered tonight while we break into the bank. Break into the bank? That's right. I've got something here I want to plant in there. Well, what in tarnation is that thing? It's, uh, it's what you call a, uh, listening device. Come again? Well, you know, a, a listening device. Uh, for instance, if you want to, uh, well, say, uh, say a conversation is going to take place, uh, in another room, and, uh, you want to hear it. Well, all you do is, uh, uh, Plant this little gadget in the room, uh, run the wires into the room where you are, and uh, put these earphones to your ears, throw the switch, and uh, boom, there you are. Uh, you federal fellas think up the newest fangdangle idea. Oh, Sheriff Bill, you ain't seen nothing yet. Soon they will take what you call the fingers on the prints, and from them, they can tell you just what you are thinking. Do tell. Well, uh, <laughs> Almost that. Oh, well, that's all there is up to it. Now, you take the set right here. The electricity goes right through the wires, right into the diagram. It jumps the magnesium. Yeah, well, let's get to work. I was only explaining. Yeah, the I know. Thing. You were only explaining, but we got to move. We hit it. We're right behind the desk. That's fine. <laughs> Come on, Governor. This is where you do your stuff. Wait a minute. Don't unsaddle your horses. I'm ordering you off this ranch. Well, Julie, what's the matter? I told you I trusted you, but your actions have changed my mind. I'm convinced that whatever it is Lucky's mixed up in, you're the cause of it. Unless you leave here at once, I'm riding in to see the sheriff. All right. I guess you win. We'll leave. Amigo, anything wrong with my face? No. You would think we had the measles or something. sent for us, so there must be something doing. Round up your two pals and wait at the cabin.
Okay, Rivers. Looks like they're heading for town. Maybe we'll get that break we're looking for. Sure. Ah, to me, it smells like something is cooking. I'll meet you at the sheriff's office. You follow me as fast as possible. See, si, don't worry. I'll always bring up the rear. <laughs> Jim Rivers. When he comes, send him in. Yes, Mr. Gordon. Hello, Bill. Shh. What's the matter? They're in there now. Well, they can't hear us. They can't? No. Say, Gordon's expecting Rivers. Boy, is this great. Really? Tell Mr. Rivers I'll see him now. Oh, hello, Rivers. Hello. Come on in. I've been waiting for you. Well, boys, I've got the plans laid for another job. Good. What are they? This time I'm shipping 15,000. 15? The reason for shipping that much money is because after you boys get it, we're going to lay low for a little while. Yeah, you'll lay low all right, but it'll be in the penitentiary. As usual, I'll deposit the money this afternoon in the post office. It'll go out tonight on the border limited. You boys know what to do. Sure. That's all I wanted to know. Gordon is stealing his own money. Very fantastic. Why should a man want to steal his own money? This man makes it a business to steal his own money. He steals it and ships it and ships it and steals it and he steals yes, it. Yes, we ships. know, we know. He steals it and he ships it and he ships it and he steals it. Don't you see, Bill, it's very simple. Gordon ships cash addressed to an eastern bank. He insures it through the post office. His gang robs a mail, he gets his money back and the insurance. Not a bad little business if you can get away with it. But, Gordon, we're going to have to have a little bigger split this time. I've got two new men on the outfit. You sure they're all right? Of course they're all right. You know I'm always careful. I've sent word for them to meet me up at the cabin. Well, you run things, Rivers. Only keep my name out of this deal. Right. Well, we'll be on our way. Come on. Bill, we got to get back to that cabin. Now, here are your orders. There's only one place that can hit that border special, and that's at Big Ben. You get your posse and wait there for us. Well, Tom, why can't we just arrest them all now and have done with it? Because we have to catch them in the act for the evidence to convict them. Well, maybe you know what you're doing, but I think the way we always done it. Let's ride, Lopez. Si, sí, amigo. Lucky, why did you lie to me? You're working with the gang. Well, so what? The law isn't on your plan. The man you call Tom Allen is the law. How do you know that? I overheard Allen and the sheriff planning to catch the gang tonight when they hit the mail. Oh, Lucky, why did you get into this? I've come to warn you. I made a mistake. Tom Allen's the law. I swear I didn't know him. All right. I believe you. Anyway, there's no harm done yet. But there is. In some way, Allen has learned your plans for tonight. My sister told me. Wait a minute. I'm running the setup. Get inside. Rod, keep him covered from the back. Something's up. We're being covered. 
Act as though nothing's happened. We'll bluff our way out of this. Gentlemen, nice day. Not for you, Mr. Lawman. I'm afraid I don't understand you. You will. Now let's quit stalling. I could have dropped you in your tracks outside, but I want to tell you personally that you're not so smart. Dynamite. Ah, let's shoot him and have done with it. No, I never like to leave evidence. When I get through, all that'll be left here will be a hole in the ground. change our plans. Gordon's mail game is finished. And if Alan here knows our plans, you can bet your life Bill the Sheriff does. And I'm not walking into any trap. What do you figure to do? I'm going to beat Gordon to it. We'll steal the money from the post office. Yeah, that's a good idea. They're expecting the job to be done on the train. But what about Gordon? Forget Gordon. There'll be one last to split with. Here, Rod. We'll need these at the post office.
Let's look. That's them now. Looks like they've hit the post office and are making a getaway. Look! Hey, what's that? The sheriff and his men, they're closing in on us. We better head for that ranch. We'll have a chance to out shoot him. Come on. Well, a pair of guns, Marshal. Yes. Well, 
Well, I guess that stopped him. All but one, Jeff Gordon. Yeah, I guess we'd better pick him up, Sheriff. Well, you see, Tom, I just simply had to make an arrest, so I've already thrown him in the hoose, gal. Oh, nice going, Bill. <laughs> well, the sheriff with his old-fashioned methods is not so bad, eh, amigo? <laughs> <laughs> I came over to say goodbye. We're riding on today. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I've acted. What do you mean? You only did what you thought was right. Well, I was only trying to protect Lucky. Until he got into that gang, he was fine. I wish he'd gone out a different way. Well, he went out all right. He, uh, he was helping me. On the side of the law? Well, uh, we were sort of working together. Working together? Thanks for telling me. Amigo, we have work to do. Don't forget to always keep, uh, smiling. Come on, come on. Goodbye. Goodbye. I had to break that up. You remember what happened in Montana? Yeah, I know, Lopez, but she is awfully pretty. Sure, and so was the one in Montana. Thank you.